So today is a very special day. It is Lag Bo'ayma, a day in which we all need to dive into the Tfilis Arnis Kabbal. A year ago it was a terrible tragedy, and we hope that they will pass with only Besoyer's Toivos. What is special about this day? The Shechonoch writes in Tov Tzadik Gimel, Poskum Elamos, the plague was over. Why was it over, Dafka Lag Bo'ayma? So when we want to understand why the plague went away, we need to understand why did it come. Some of us are much base. Chov dala delaf talmid dala bekiva perished when Pesach latzeres shaloi nahagu kovin zebeze. And everybody asked the same question: such a terrible punishment for such a minor transgression. It's not koris. It's not misa b'day shemayim. It's not misa zebeze. It's not even a love. So. Many times I explained, being the Talmud of a giant, of a Gavra Rab, is not only a privilege, it is an awesome responsibility, and it could be a liability. Many times I heard from my great Rabbi, the Kloysen Magir Rabbi, one of his earliest recollections, I was sitting on my father's lap, and he was crying, and he asked him, Tata, I was Weinstein, Abba, why are you crying? And he told me, Zalma Leibach Bindach Mekana, my dear son, I envy you. And I asked him, why do you envy me? I envy you, you're a big rabbi, you have chassidim, I have no chassidim. And he said, I'm a can you because you didn't see the tzanza zayda, the divrechaim. And I was perplexed and I asked him once again, I am a can you because you did see our great zayda. And my father said, Lacha may have asked him, you're going to be up in the heavens. What, what could they demand from you? You didn't see the Divrachaim, but they will ask me. You saw the Divrachaim. You were in his Daladamis. So I'm afraid. The Talmidim of Rabbi Kiva were asked by a Kodesh Baruch Hu, Did you learn anything from Rabbi Kiva? Where were you when he said, in a Dorm Daflam and in Yushalmi, we have to lechu kamuichu zechlal godel betoyim. And what Rabbi Kiva said in Masechet Ovis Peregim al Chov Avodim Shenivro Betzelem Chibi Yaseid and Idaslu Shenivro Betzelem al Kim. Weren't you there? You didn't hear. Psochem Chov Beis when Rabbi Kiva says, "Es Hashem Lakechu Tiro Le Rabbi Stal Mi Dechachamim." You didn't hear. Are you Talmidim of Rabbi Kiva? That is why they perished. To be a Talmud of Anadam Godel is a responsibility. In Koheles, Perek Zayin, Rebbe Kiv is the one that tells the story to his later Talmudim. And he pleads with them. I can't go through this ordeal again. I can't survive it. Please, Atem Altiu Kemoisam, be better than they were. I lost twenty four thousand. I don't want to lose you. And I'm in Chasosha Sichas Alag Baoima. I realized something really to me. It was such a revelation and so moving. In Merchavei Ashas and Amidroshim, these five Talmidim, the last, the last giants, Abesenu Shabedorim. The entirety of Torah is their Torah. They were, each of them, a paragon in Kvoid Chaveren. Rav Meir says in Tanchuma, Pashas Vichy, Hamavorech is Chaveroi, Hamavorech is Sorkilu, Mavorech is Ashkino. Rav Meir is talking, but in the background we hear an echo of Rabbi Kiva Chove Vodem Shenivro Betzele Melokim. Rabbi Huda Bariloi number two, Shira Shiram Rabo, Perig Beis, I'm a Kabel Pne Haveru Kilo, I'm a Kabel Pne Ashkino. Rabbi Osi Ben Chalafta number three, in Shabbos Kuf Yud Ches, Mia Milo Avarti Al Divre Haverai. You dare any but Smish and any coin, Vem Yomru Haverai, Ale Duchan, who is the other. Do you know many people that could say, I never, I never violated. What my chaver asked me, not your rebbe, not the god lador, your friends. Me yom elo avati al divrei chaverai. 
Rabbi Shiva Meyahu, he takes this to an extreme when he says in Brochus Mem Gimel, La Olam Yapper Odom Atzma Le Kivshan O Eish Val Yalben Pnei Chaveiro Ibaram. Give away your life, not to embarrass another person or hurt his feelings, not to degrade him and insult him in public. Number five, the last, but not the least. The Rebbe Lozim in Shemua teaches us a peri. Darad Mesech HaZov is, Yei kvoi talmid chocho v'avalecho, v'kvoi t'chavechu k'moi rarabcho v'moi rarabcho k'moi rishamayim. We all know that we need to respect the elders, the Rabbeim, the Gedolim. You need to respect your children and your talmidim. Because each and every one of them has his personal dignity which should be upheld and honored and sanctified. So Rabbi Samuel Shabbatorim is later to me that each of them was a paragon and a symbol of Kvoid Chavedim. And that is why they prevailed. So Rabbi Kiva says, We have to lorechu kamoichu zeklal godel betoiro. What few people know, Ben Azai says, in that very same source, Medoram Daflamed, Nobody understands what is he saying. And I say, the question discussed by Rabbi Kivan Ben Azay, what is the most essential, important, fundamental ingredient in a just Torah society? What is the most important principle in the entire spectrum of Ben Odom Lechaveru? Rabbi Kiva says, We have to Yachu Kamoicho. Benazir was a Talmud cover to Rebbe Kiva, as we find in Babli and Yushalmi, many sources. And he says, Akiva, my great Rebbe, please don't be angry, but I think. Of course, you are right. But there's another klal as well, maybe even a greater one. Ze Sefer told us Odom. B'tselem Eloikim Bora Oisam. And Ben Azi apologizes and he says, Rabbi, don't be angry. It is not my Torah. It is what I heard from you in Peregimel Mesechet of us. Chove Vodem Shinivro B'tselem. Chibi Yoseidon Oidas Lo Shinivro B'tselem Eloikim. So Ben Azi says, and I feel this very strongly, Ahavokas never could be, never be uniform. It is human nature. And obviously, it is the way it should be. Human nature that was created by HaKadosh Baruch A person loves his wife more than he loves others. He loves his children more than he loves his neighbor's children. And it is human nature. We love some people more than we love others. So love is never uniform, but COVID should be. And we need to learn to respect those that we do not love. We need to learn to respect those that have different opinions than we do. So when Azi says, the awareness, the recognition, the feeling that every yid is a tzelem aloikim, that is klal godol haimeno. So yes, my dear friends, my dear Talmidim, we need to love each other, we need to respect each other. So many times I explained, 49 days of Svita coincide with mem chesvorim shatoyin niknez vehem. Start counting from number one. Fascinating. 32 is Oyhe Vesabrios. So when Rabbi Kivis Tanmidim worked on Avesabrios on day 32, day 33, Lag Boema, the plague was over. That is my understanding. So, my dear Tanmidim, Achim Yekorim, I spoke about Lag Boema. Tamar was no longer Lag Boema. But this message. Is so important. Lag Boimer, Lamed Dalad Boimer, Lamed Hey Boimer, every day and every night of the entire year. You have to lereachu kemoicho, kvoid chaveacho, kemoire rabcho, moire rabcho, kemoire shamaim. Love each other, respect each other. And at the schus, of the Tana HaEluki Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, we shall only know the Sodes Toivos Yeshuos Venachomos. Have a beautiful day. All the Tefillah should be Neskabel, and have a beautiful Shabbos. Good Shabbos to all of you. Kol Tov.